Hello and welcome. Um, today is Friday the 27th of March. I had intended on doing a quick catch up video to let you know how we've been going in our self isolation. Um, side note, we're not actually being isolated because we're sick, just taking precautions. But that's all kind of gone out the window because we've just received a notification that our landlord is selling this house. So I'll get to the isolation part in a minute, but I need to have a little vent. I can't believe this is happening. Uh, one, <laughs> during coronavirus, two, I'm 28 weeks pregnant tomorrow. So we've just got some information. They are putting the house on the market now. The landlord is a retiree. He is panicking about something, I guess. Um, I don't know. But basically, what this means is we have to start looking for a new place to live right now because I don't want to be in a position where it's May, the baby's due in June or June and we're told that we need to move and we have to scramble to find somewhere to live or whatever. Like they may not sell the property straight away but even if it was July and we had a month old newborn um that is not ideal none of this is ideal but plenty of people going through plenty of things at the moment so let's just add something else to deal with um i actually can't believe that this is going on we we had intended to start looking for somewhere else to move at the end of our lease anyway which is in September and in case you're wondering yes they can uh, break that lease if they're selling um, we had so we had intended on looking in September anyway because this place is a little bit small for the four of us but you know that's September when the baby would have been a few months old when we were getting into a bit more of a groove. I feel like I'm just gonna be, we're gonna be uprooting Jed again at the same time as bringing a new baby into the house and him having to adjust to that. Um, you know, I'm already getting uncomfortable now and I know towards the end of pregnancy, especially that last month, it's hard to even stand up at all. For very long because you're so uncomfortable so um i really don't want to be packing and unpacking a house um the last few times we've moved lynn's i've um, i've packed the house because i've been home lindsay's been at work but he's just gonna have to take time off work to help because i can't do it by myself um and yeah it's just I don't want to be in a situation where we've got a newborn and in a house surrounded by mess and chaos and um, yeah this just is not ideal. Um, I have a list of things that I need to buy for the new baby and um, I guess I'm going to have to order them now because we'll have to get them sent here before we move. We don't know what our address is. And the other thing is, um, for the past few months, we've been driving around looking at diff different areas to see where we'd like to live, um, like permanently. And we haven't finished doing that. Like we've, we've nearly finished looking at all the places we wanted to, but we haven't finished yet. We haven't, like we only did our preliminary looks and Ideally, we would have settled on a place that we thought we wanted to live and then rented there next just so we were in one spot so that we could be established with schooling and um, all of those things and I just feel like I don't know if we're going to be able to make that decision quickly if we're going to be able to be that picky because 
we don't have any time to spare like i just don't think we're going to be able to be that picky unless um things sort of fall into place and you know jed's just got settled with his day day carer who he really loves and we love and obviously we're going to move in september anyway but like i said i was hoping to have a better choice about where we were moving to so this the other thing is like um my parents this is what i was going to tell you about um so the other day like two days ago the queensland border shut we live on the border of new south wales and queensland we live just on the new south wales side literally the last suburb before we live on the border my mum and dad live 40 minutes drive north in queensland and so they can't we can't visit them anymore because the border is shut because of coronavirus um so aside from not being able to see them <coughs> for months whatever however long this goes for um it would have been great to be able to have some help while we were trying to pack a house but we literally can't have anyone the rest of our family are in sydney um with regards to the baby being born um i they will be able to come down here to new south wales um to look after jed while that happens except they'll have to then go back up to queensland and self-quarantine for two weeks because those are the rules if you leave queen if you're a queenslander and you leave queensland and come back you have to self-quarantine for two weeks um although the latest i've heard i was talking to my mother's group friends this morning and one of them's a nurse uh, an icu icu nurse actually um and she was saying that um i think it's in new zealand but don't quote me on that um you're actually you so the rules here at the moment are you're only allowed one support person in the hospital room with you um that's fine for me because i would have only had Lindsay anyway but in new zealand they're being stricter and not even allowing dads so hey if that's the case here then maybe mum and dad won't need to come here after all but how that's just awful like can you imagine doing labor all by yourself and not having a support person because the nurses don't stand in the room for you the whole time you're giving birth they come and go because this process goes for hours they're not going to have a midwife available to stand there with you the whole time um so can, can you imagine doing it by yourself just it just gets more and more ridiculous so anyway that's my latest news and i'm just a bit feeling really deflated like i honestly i, I was going to come on and tell you that we're doing really quite well um there's been times throughout this week where it's felt a little difficult because usually um so now jed has uh, some time at daycare on a one day we go to play group and i see my friends there another day another day we have swimming and then we might just have a trip to the shops another day if we need staff or things like that like little trips out of the house and those are the things that break up our day because i'm a stay-home mum um and i thought that it would be really hard without having that um but this week has actually been okay because um um well for, for one thing lindsay's been lindsay's working full-time at home now so instead of him being out of the house like longer hours during the day he just clocks in at eight and finishes at four four thirty ish and so it's nice to have him here in the morning and in the afternoon so in that way it's nicer for me i it would be very hard if we were stuck in like sort of not being able to go out and about and lindsay was still going to work it'd be very hard for me not to have to another adult to talk to and it's just kind of nice knowing that he's there he goes and goes in the office and 
it hasn't been a problem with Jed. We just say daddy's going to work now and he knows he's there, but for the most part, he doesn't try and um, bother him or anything like that. Um, so yeah, I thought it would be hard, but actually this morning I was thinking, you know what, I think I needed this because it's forced me to sort of slow down. I think sometimes when you have lots of activities, not that we are overloaded, but I think sometimes when you have lots of activities, you kind of, um, sorry, I'm not trying to be dramatic. It's just all a bit overwhelming. Um, I was feeling actually really grateful this morning because it hasn't been this, that hard this week. And, um, it's being uh, not able to go out and about to these various activities has meant that we've had to just be at home and slow down. And I can already sort of feel the benefits of that. And I think that's sort of a silver lining of what this horrible thing that is happening in the world at the moment is that a lot of people, unfortunately, will be forced to stay home but the flip side of that is that we all live busy lives and sometimes like how often do you have um pure like not relaxation because people are stressed but I mean in my situation it's different it's different for someone who's become unemployed that's going to be very stressful for them but being a stay-at-home mum already and sometimes us mums can f flip around here, there and everywhere. It's nice to just be forced to chill a bit. And it hasn't been that bad. Um, I, uh, we've been going, we've gone outdoors a little, like we've played in the yard, we've gone to outdoor spots, we've um, been dancing and singing in the morning to sort of bust out the stress or whatever and it's been honestly it's been okay for me but the um the really crappy thing about this situation now with having to move is that well everything I've already said but also um I was just starting to really embrace and be grateful for this wind down time especially before having another baby and um, I was in because my work with my wedding stuff has has obviously dried up because weddings are banned basically um, I do have extra time and I've been excited about getting some things done getting some other work done other other priorities and doing more videos and just um doing some other things and now it's like no sorry you have to flick off that switch and start looking for rental properties and doing rental applications and packing a house and moving and setting up for a baby at the same time without any help and it's just this is yeah I don't want to there's plenty of people in the world at the moment going everyone's everyone's got their own individual everyone's got struggles worse than this this is not the end of the world it's just a bit of a blow so um I had hoped to sort of say more positive stuff but um that is the that is our situation today so um yeah I I guess that's it for today <laughs> I I don't really have anything to comment on about what's going on with policies that are going on I, I will say though um I I'm glad that they're sort of shutting 
places like I don't even know what I'm saying I I don't even know what I'm saying right now let's not even go there so um, sorry this was a bit of a downer but uh, just uh, keeping you informed on what's going on and uh, yeah I hope whatever your situation is that it's um, that if it's got negatives in it that it's also got some positives in it for you as well because um, like I said in like in spite of what is going on now there have been positives for us as well not to make light of the situation but I do think it's um, healthy to see the positives in things as well thank you for watching and now I'm going to make a fun um, Easter basket video and put on my bright face and talk to you soon. Bye.